Order, order. This court is now in session. Standing today, we have two lol cows on trial, of which their crimes are of one, scamming his below room temperature IQ whales in order to pull some sweaty Hogan. On the other, has lied about having cancer to milk his supporters using morbid pity and victimhood. However, your honor, neither of those are the reason why we are here today. You see, both of their crimes continuing to this point were due to what is called the locale lie, defined by the ability of refusing to do the literal one thing that it would take to show the accusations against them are false, with each needing to just simply send a screenshot of their proof of no wrongdoing to a trusted source to vouch for their innocence. However, upon the request of said screenshots, both defaulted to blaming others, especially detractors, then proceeded to play victim for the lack of privacy regarding their issues that both brought upon themselves for becoming public in the first place. Hmm, this is quite the strong allegation being brought forth upon you two. How do you bleed? I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. I'm going to stick with the truth. Yeah, I know it's very tempting at this point to lie and you're trying to bait me to do it. I won't. What do you have to support your claims? You got all this, like, evidence. Very well. Let us proceed with the first case of Dark Side Phil. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? This has got to be the dumbest motherfucker I've ever experienced in my life. You are officially the dumbest motherfucker I've ever heard of now. Wow, you have to be... There must be a vacuous emptiness in your brain. Go fuck yourself, leave me alone forever. Your Honor, this is already an open and shut case. However, to show proof of his locale lie, we must revisit his Side Scrollers podcast appearance. Very well, roll the tape. Let's go into WWE champions. Sure. Let's talk about this, because this has been a consistent theme uh, with, with all the detractors. They want to know about your experience with this game. Um, but just a real simple yes or no. Mm -hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. Why, why are you so uh, hesitant to talk about that or to talk about uh, WWE champions and we'll start there. I wasn't at first. I did talk about it publicly years ago when the game first came out very innocently talked about playing it casually. Uh, you know, that I was a fan of wrestling. This is a game that I played that, you know, over the years, every once in a while, I would casually mention a mobile game I'm playing or whatever, but um, you know, it's nothing that I would think that my audience would be super interested in. To hear about me, what, what, you know, what mobile games I casually will talk about them. Well, well we started you know? talking about it, and you instantly went into just attacking other people. Like we don't have to, like your detractors. Like they, they may deserve it. I don't know, but we we can have this conversation without even bringing them up. Sure, right? We'll we'll bring them up if they're okay. if they you you know you're you're saying you're instantly going to the they're making up shit. But you do play this game. You have spent mm -hmm. mo spent money on it, and Correct. I think what ha what's happening is when you're begging your audience for money and then complaining that you know this king's feast is too expensive for six, a 60 dollar meal and you're you're stressing for money and then putting money into a game that is a mobile game that is i mean let's let's face it mobile games are not necessary in life no spending any any amount of money on a mobile game <clears throat> uh I, i've never played this wwe i don't even know it, i i saw like a picture of it and it looked like candy crush mm -hmm. or so, i don't know what the hell it is you know but it just feels like they feel like you're you're just using them to like using your audience and like I don't want to be used. I, I personally I don't like feeling used. I've been used by people in the past and I don't have time for that in my life. So when people are watching someone online and supporting them and then feel used, like when you know you you say you beg too much and you you know you're working on that, which is good because as I said, it's not a good look, but even talking about hey this other game that they believe you're a whale in why why do they think you're a whale where, where are they getting this you know if, if, so i'm just gonna briefly in my head try to go over what i remember there was an account in the game that's the name of the account was they call me dsp okay which is which is also your twitter handle that's correct mm -hmm. and so just by that association they're assuming that's me in the game okay now from what I'm going to understand after that, after I guess at some point it had been asked on a stream or whatever, is this you? And I said, no, that's not me in the game. It is not, by the way. That is not my account in the game. Um, what is your account in the game? That I'm not going to say. That's that, that, And if you're going to say why, because back when I signed up for that game in 2017, there had never been any 
drama around mobile games or anything like that that I've been involved in. No one ever asked me the question of what's the name of your account. I have a, an, a, an account name on basically my Apple device that kind of crosses over a lot of different accounts, okay? And if I were to tell you information about my account, these people will absolutely use that to hurt me. They will try to use this data to get into other accounts. They will probably try to commit identity theft, impersonate me with Apple. I can't do that. I've already been okay. through that. Two so, years so on the record, you're, you're saying that uh, that account, they call me DSP, is not you. That's correct. Okay. Here's the thing that, that I'm having a hard time wrapping my, wrapping my brain around, right? Because apparently that, that name was changed later to down from the rafters, right? Why would somebody, if this is a troll that is a whale, right, that in this game, why would somebody after, let, let's, say, let's say after this was brought to your attention, it was, it, the name is later changed, right? And they're spending all this money on this, right? And they know it's being, you know, this is being tracked in this game. Why would they change the name? If they're just trolling you with, with they call me DSP, this, this name, why would they then change the name if it's just a troll to begin with? What's, what's the point? I'm trying to well, wrap my head around this idea here. Theory number one is, like you just said, this person was actually a troll who was trying to make me look bad. And that was the theory until the name changed. But I agree with you. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? Why would you try to ch change your name if you weren't, you know? Maybe, and again, this is me just guessing. I have no clue because this is not me. Maybe this person was a legit player. Maybe it was a fan of mine. Maybe it was, a, you know, who knows? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's complete chance. You know, this is not Dark Side Phil. This is not DSP Gaming. This is they it's, call it's me Dark DSP. Side Patrick. I mean, <laughs> Sorry, I know, again, who knows? You're right. I, 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 that's the point. Is it's not, it wasn't my name. It wasn't like Phil Burnell or whatever. It was and one name that I use on a Twitter account. So maybe this legitimately was someone who was playing the game and over the years was getting like harassed. I don't know. Here's, here's what I can tell you. Since this started happening, all right, I was afraid that the, my actual account name was going to get out there. And they were like, I just told you guys, they were going to try to like harass me or change, you know, harass my, my Apple account, hack my Apple account, whatever. I well, reached Phil, out. I got, I got to say real quick. If, mm -hmm. if that the, whoever they call me DSP changed it to whatever the hell they change it to, why haven't you changed it to some? That's uh, that's what I'm about thing? to say. That's exactly what I'm about to say. I asked the, the you know they have the help chat or whatever. I asked them. I said, listen, this is happening, and I'm I'm really afraid. And they told me they don't do that. I was like, what? Like, yeah, we don't do that. We don't do name changes. I said, there's evidence that th that there is. They wouldn't do it for me. So maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe this this person, because of the level that they've spent supposedly in the game, because they're a whale, maybe the company did them a solid because they, they keep spending. And so they did it for them. Uh, apparently you can't just change your name. There's no option in the game to change your name. I've tried, it's not there. And you contact support, they say, we won't do it. Look, I, I'm of the mindset of once somebody gives you money, you can do what you want with the money. But true, I think that there, this is, there's, we're, we're here to put all the cards on the table here. And, and, and work through these things. When you play this game, you, ha you have this whale that has the exact same Twitter handle that you have, that is pulling this elaborate elaborate troll on you, right? If they are, if that's what it was, I don't know. Right? I hate to bring this up, I hate to bring mm -hmm. this up, but, but, I'm, but I'm going to because I feel like it needs to be addressed. Go for it. People have been very aggressive with you to the point to where they have leaked bank statements from you right and that's obviously not cool at all it's it's ridiculous that somebody would go to that length and it's a, it's honestly upsetting but it's out there right and there have been you know according to these leaks there have been dozens hundreds of transactions mm -hmm. to uh to the apple store uh some many over hundreds of dollars um that that have been there were those your transactions? No. So, so those were not tied to you at all? No. Those, okay, the bank leaks, whatever so, that is, is not me. That's fabricated. Or, or it's someone else's account. I don't know whose, but that's not my account that was leaked. I've so, had a lot of issues that happened with identity theft that same summer, but they used that to run with some kind of this crazy conspiracy theory and say that was me, and it's not. So you're saying, just, just so we're on the same page, mm -hmm. you're saying that... 
this account that is not yours, that had thousands of dollars of fees to the Apple store consistently mm -hmm. that are uh, these, these amounts just happen to tie to exact amounts in the game that we're talking about, WWE mm -hmm. Champions. And, the, and it's a game that you also play. Mm -hmm. Just so just so we're all on the same page. Yeah. You're saying that mm -hmm. that is not your account at all. And they were unsuccessful in find in hacking your bank account. They did not hack my bank account. They did not have access to my bank account. It seems awfully convenient. <laughs> right. It does sound awfully convenient. <laughs> but that, that's the truth. It's you can understand how us looking from the outside in looks at this and, and, and raises an eyebrow and doesn't yeah, quite it, buy so it. Right? it to, to me, it, I mean, from an outside perspective, who, who doesn't know anything would look like you had to go and file for bankruptcy. You had all these issues and people calling you out for spending way too much money on this game when you should have been saving for taxes. And then, you know, this shit comes out and you're like, you're freaking sweating. You got to freaking do something about it. It's like, oh, I was hacked. That, that identity theft, like maybe the identity theft happened. I'm just like painting a picture for like these people on the internet that mm -hmm. hate you. Mm -hmm. And are trying to convince the world of what happened. And then, like Craig said, I mean, you are playing it. Mm -hmm. It is your username. There are all these bank statements that actually correlate perfectly with this game. I, I, I'm leaning more towards that side of the story because it makes more sense. I mean, it, you needed an out. You were having, you have money issues and have had money issues for a while. Yep. And it's just like... Uh, it's the hard reason, to believe, dude. The reason that this story has not died out like every other one is because this is the one that I really don't have a way to prove my innocence without further exposing myself. There's been matchmaking based off of your, your, you know, your life, going to restaurants, big events in WWE champions, things like that, that line up perfectly with this bank account. Like, and, and I think... I said, it's, it's your money, dude. You can do what you want. I, I don't mm -hmm. care. But, but why are, like, it just, if we were in the court of law and, and somebody was to bring all this evidence in front of, say, like, look, hey, there's a bullet here. Here's the gun that he used. It has his fingerprints on it. This person is dead because this person pulled the trigger. And the other guy's like, no, I didn't do it. Well, like, there's clear, like, DNA there. there. And, like, I think that's the thing that I'm really struggling with here, man, is, mm -hmm. is it's, it's just seems... Like, if you would just say, yeah, it was my bank account. It was really fucked up. Uh, it, lined, it aligned with all these things. By the way, I play WWE Champions. I'm, you know, I, I have a hard time quitting it. It's, it those games are addictive. Uh, and you, you just kind of said, yeah, these things are accurate. I think people would like just be like, okay, and, and they'd be cool with it. But it just seems like you, you, you're, you keep digging and digging and digging. And, I mean, walk me through this because there's just evidence here. Like mm -hmm. mounds and mounds of evidence, and that right, say you, you, you claim that it was someone else, but and, why? And, why do a lot of the things on the bank statement actually correlate to things that you actually did and paid for? And, right, and the only that evidence that, that that you're putting out is, well, no, it's not, or that's a lie, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, just walk me through this, man, because I'm, I don't like I'm. This is the whole purpose of this thing was not, not to make you look bad at all. But right. I just want to walk through this here, man, because mm -hmm. it it doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. I don't know how to defend, again, I don't know how to defend myself without putting myself and my family at personal risk, and that's the problem. I don't that's, know how, the, how that lines up. I that, wish, that, I, that's I, wish I knew. I wish I knew I could explain those transactions. Here's, I guess, man, I'm trying to figure out how I can tell you from my perspective what really happened that summer. Um, and well, why, I'll, I did... I'll tell you, the, the, here, here's, here's something very easy, very simple, mm -hmm. very simple. You have my email, and this is, this is a small ask. It's also a big ask. You can say whatever you want. Will you, and you can say no, and I'm totally fine with this, but just confidentially between us, will you send me a screenshot of your, of your account, of your WWE account? And just so I, I, I personally, I will not share, share your name to anybody, but just between us. Man, I have to think about and, what, and what vouch for you. I would put out. Yeah, and, and I, I will vouch for you either way. I have to think about what kind of risk that I don't want to say. Here's the thing. I, I'll consider it, but I can't agree to it yet. I have to see what exactly well, what's the risk, you know, and I not say that I think you would do anything with it. I don't. Mm -hmm. you, I think you, you got to look at what what's to benefit more than what's to risk. You have no idea 
the levels of how this has gone. I I do. Happened. I see it. I, I'm well aware. I, I have chat up. You've said it multiple times that you fucked up. You held your hands up. You said, I didn't handle this right. I fucked up multiple times. You did this and that. So it's like, if you want to remain on the internet, which you seem to enjoy streaming, and you like what you're doing now, which is good. I'm glad you like what you're doing. But it's like, if you want to move in a direction that's going to alleviate some of these these haters, I think that that would actually do more for you than you think. If if Craig came out and was like, all right, guys, he, he sent me this the, the proof and I can confirm to everyone that his account is not. They call me DSP, the whale account, you know, like or or the uh, or the other the other name down from the rafters. Like almost at this point now, it's like it's almost suspect that you're not wanting to just do whatever you can. Yeah. Again, I, I hear you. If I was sitting in your in your position right now. I would feel exactly the same way, but just as the levels of shit that I've been through and, and people who betrayed me, not that I'm saying Craig would, I don't think he would, but every I've, time I've, I have no interest. Phil, I, to be, I want to be really clear with you, man. And just like this, we were talking about this. I have, I have zero interest in making you look bad. Like, yeah. I, I think there's a tremendous opportunity here for, for you to be humanized to a lot of people who don't see you as human, you know, and, and, to err is to be human, right? That's the old saying, like everybody fucks up and you've owned up to a lot of those things. But there are, there are certain things here, man, that, that I just, you know, it, it, they, they don't add up. And you're saying, you're saying, hey, if I was in your shoes, I'd be saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, I, I, I don't know, man, it's, it's not connecting. It's not connecting. And I'm trying to help you out here, man. I really am. And, I hear you. And so I feel, I feel like there's help there's... yourself. I, no, I feel like there's nothing else to be said then. Here's the thing. The, the narrative that they have put out there about me is that I'm begging and shilling to my viewers. The viewers give me tips every day, and that money goes right into WWE champions, correct? Like, that's the narrative that they that they say on the internet. Well, they, there's a lot of things that, that haven't made a whole lot of logical sense here, Phil. I mean, let's just be true. real. There, there's a lot here that doesn't add up. I was going off of their narrative, and their narrative is... Every day I'm begging my audience for money. It's it goes to my PayPal, and then I immediately spend that on WWE champions. That's the narrative. I, that I, I didn't heard. I didn't believe that narrative, but it does seem that okay. you, you do get money and you just spend it on the things that need to be spent on instead of you know planning for taxes the next month or whatever. You know, that's um, no, that is absolutely correct. Yes, right, and or well, things that aren't necessary, which could think, include WWE. Not saying that it is, but right. it could be. Do you feel that um, you said you still play the game? Do you play any other mobile games? Yes. Do you feel that you're addicted to them at all? No. I, no? I play them casually. I play them, you know, for example, uh, I'll be off the stream and it's night and my wife and I are watching a TV show. And as we're watching the show, I might just open it up. And, you know, these mobile games are not big narrative experiences. They're just like kind of busy work game, grinding games, right? You, you mash a little bit. You do like, like Adam said, this, this stupid WWE Champions is just a freaking uh, puzzle game like Candy Crush. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to do them. They're more like, I mean, you know. Do casual players play, pay under just under a thousand bucks? No, you know, I, don't know. I feel like you, right. you, you elevate your level when, when you actually put any uh, money into it. But then when it goes over a hundred dollars, you, you kind of Ele elevate from casual to all right i'm right. i'm a one of the core players this this all started because you guys probably don't know the full history this all started many many years ago before there was tons of financial issues that were public uh i was playing a different wwe game it was called wwe supercard all right this mm -hmm. one i actively spent a lot of money on i will tell you guys this i can't tell you the exact i definitely i got addicted to that one Everyone knew it. I talked. So you about have it been streams. addicted to mobile games. Yes, I have. I've publicly admitted this that I spent way too much money on that. And there was another one. It was called Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. That one as well. This was before you know, way before the years before the bankruptcy and everything. That I was spending. I was spending too much money on them. And at that point, I I, I stopped. I cut off. I stopped playing WWE Supercard and, and Dokkan Battle completely. When I saw what I was doing, I stopped myself from doing it. And then. You know, I've casually played other mobile games over the years. And 
basically what happens is with with my and I know you guys are going to say you're changing the narrative. I please bear with me with this. No, it's reasoning. it's not okay. helping your case at all, though. You're you I know, know, but but I'm being honest. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is all public record. You know, I talked about those games in the past. Did Find Chris, a way. Use Craig. Use Craig. Send him send him a screenshot. I haven't I haven't found a way to do this without putting myself at personal risk up to now. And so this is why the narrative has continued. You say you play the game. You say you're not addicted, although you have been addicted to mobile games in the past, right? Yes. And I'm just I'm just going to lay this all out in front of us, all right? So you used to play a mobile game that was WWE related. Yes. Okay. You were addicted to that game. Fast forward, new game comes out, right? You play that game. And by the way, you, you, you separated yourself from that game because you knew that you were addicted to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually in the case of addiction, just usually there's, there's some sort of intervention in life, some sort of intervention that happens, whether it's brought on by friends, family, or just personal, you know, uh, you look inside yourself and you realize something needs to change, right? Right. You have transactions that line up with major events. I'm getting DM pictures of, of you, of, of, your discord you know your discord handle in the wwe champions discord mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i have and I it just it. seems <laughs> there, there's all the, so make it make sense like this doesn't make sense make it make sense i i have such a hard time believing that there is a a group of people that are so hell-bent this evil plan to make you look bad that they're willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on wwe champions just so they can make you look bad i mm -hmm. i'm I, I don't <clears throat> buy it. And and once again, there's an easy out here, Phil. I like I'm offering you the yeah, the easy out. All you gotta do is just take a quick screenshot. You can email it to me. <clears throat> it's done. We all move on. The detractors move on. And everybody goes, okay, you know what? You know, and 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 we all move on. That's it. That's <clears throat> it. It's it's very simple, man. And we want to make this happen. Like I I want I want you to be able to move on from it. I want I want the detractors to be able to move on from it. I want the internet to move on from it. I want all the WWE content to 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 be done. Like, it's it's there, man. It's there. Like, yeah. let's 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 make this happen. Like, mm -hmm. and then we're, we all move on, and we can start talking about other things. I'll, like I said, I'll think about it. I gotta see how I, if how I can do it. And uh, you know, again, what liability? I'm not gonna 100% agree to it, but I'm very strongly considering doing it. Let's see if we can do it before the end of the stream. We have a captive audience here. They want to know, right? Oh, I no. Hold on, hold on. I told you I'm not even doing anything with my phone or anything on the stream. I'm definitely okay. not doing it today on the stream. Okay. It's just okay. you know you gotta understand there's liability here. This okay. Is, this okay. is not just a discussion for me either. I'm talking my wife. You know everything here because if this okay. account gets out, that's a lot of stuff that now can be compromised. Okay. All right. Look, like I said, family. I get it. Right. Totally understand. It. Okay. And then then you know when you decide that it's. This is something that you're comfortable with. You can you can email it to me. The email will only be seen by me, not anybody else. Okay, and I will delete it immediately after. I I will serve as your confidant in this process. The best thing to do is be honest and and own up to whatever, right? So if you if you truly you 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 said multiple times you don't know what you could do. I think Craig has given you a, a good out. Once again, Phil, help me out, man. Like we're looking at an account that just so happens to be around where you live, mm -hmm. that just so happens to be shopping and dining where you're at, that just so happens to have your soul, a, a social security number that is extremely close to yours. I mean, that's how they access it. Not, not you know, I like said, so we talked about how we totally disown that. That's ridiculous, but it's out there. Mm -hmm. Let's say I send you a screenshot, you see it. Okay, this is his account. This is, you know, this is not it's what he said was true. So then how did that happen? How did they make this bank? How did they do that? I don't know how they did it. I but wish I knew. Just like, the, you're, like you're you right. just mentioned, those Discord, the Discord uh, chat stuff. I don't know how they did that. I have no idea. I guess I, I'm stupid. I'm a dinosaur, right? Like, I don't understand no, how they but, faked all that stuff. I really have no clue. And people say, well, how could they have done it? It's like they took advantage because I don't know. I don't know about Discord enough to answer how they could fake those logs. How do you fake a bank account? Or is it a real bank account that they somehow had access and found one that's close to I don't know. What about that these accounts, the down from the rafters, the DSP account, why are they tied to your phone number? That I don't know, and I don't know what that means. How could they be tied to a phone number? Well, when you, when you register an, an account, you have to put a phone number attached to it, right? Why, why would that be? 
to my knowledge, if you're going to play any mobile game, there, you don't ever enter your phone number into it. It's tied to your... Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. I'm trying to put it in perspective of a game that I play today. Like, for example, WWE Champions. I believe it's your Apple account. It's a Facebook account. Or there's a third one. And I don't know because I don't think I use the third one. So I use the Apple account. That, I mean, I never entered my phone number. You know what I mean? Like, it was just the Apple account you log into and you download anything off the Apple Store or whatever. There's no phone number entry there. So I don't know how that would happen or how you would even tie it to a phone number. I have no clue. I've never entered my phone number into any mobile game that I've ever played. It just seems like there's just this mountain of evidence. And this we're talking fucking JFK level conspiracy theory here. If if all this stuff lines up the way it does. And mm -hmm. if you were just to say like, yeah, I play WWE Legends. Yeah, I'm addicted. Yes, I have a problem with spending money on it. Yes, I, yes, I, um, you know, um, I need to need to improve. I think people will be like, yeah, cool. Let us help you instead of stop lying, you know? And that's, that's what it feels like right now, man. It just, look, only you know the truth in your heart, right? right. And, and, right. The, and the, well, and the evidence attached to it, right? Mm. Uh, which there is a mountain of, right? It's- so, we, Craig, I'm, you, I'm, sound I'm, like you, you sound like a detective right now trying to get a confession. I'm just no, saying. Well, no, no, I, 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 and it's, it's not trying to, I'm not trying to. I'm more trying to sound just, like fucking Dr. Phil. I know, you know? but the, like, it, the, there's a fine line between <laughs> the two. And, and I, I understand honest, it. it. It feels like you're trying to get a confession. And I, yeah, I don't, and, you know, I'm not trying to like it, make it weird. And right. And, and I apologize for that. Because you've already been there a couple of times. So I know, it's like, I know. But I, I, I'm having, a, I'm just having a really hard time get through it. And I apologize if that's what it sounds like. That's not what I'm trying for. You I'm might, more, you might not be able to get through it, Craig. Uh, you're, you're right. I may not. And, and for that, <laughs> I understand why, why people would be critical. You know, right. I, it just too much lines up. With the situation um, I'm in, it's, it's a, it's a lose, lose. There is no win. There is no win in this situation. There just isn't. No well, so, matter what I do, I'm, I, there's a risk, there's, there's a liability. And just like you said, even if I send you this screenshot, they won't care. They will not well, care. It, it some, honestly, some it, it depends, yeah, it, right? Yeah, I, I don't agree with you. I don't agree at all. There, the, there's people out there that would, would be like, damn, would be genuinely shocked, myself included. Because I, like, I don't think you're going to send that screenshot. But I truly believe it would be for the better. I think that, you know... I, I mean, I don't know how many people who hate you know who Craig is or can even trust Craig or think that you they'll probably just be like, oh, mm. he photoshopped it. He he edited right, out right. His, exactly right. his thing. One million you know, percent. That's, it. that's the explanation. So, I photoshopped so, it today. so FaceTime with him, FaceTime and pull it up. And Craig will be like, we FaceTimed and, and he he opened the I saw him open the app. I mean, there's ways around it that Craig would be like, I, I saw him do it live. I don't care about it anymore. I've really become. In the 15 years I've been a content creator, I have become so desensitized to this stuff. I just, it's like, what's the next one? I don't but care if you If you truly don't care, then you, you won't bother sending him a screen cut, screenshot. Because it doesn't matter to you then. It doesn't matter either way. If well, anything, then it if, I, if, then I, send, who cares? if I send Craig the screenshot, it would be out of like respect that he gave me his time today on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, but that, then, that's, that's again, something that's, to think about. That's a lot of trust too, because again, I'm not saying Craig would ever do anything dishonest or, or expose me. I'm telling you there's been times that this exact situation has happened and then something bad has happened to me because I did it. So. Uh, I, I haven't, I'll say this. I haven't done anything to, to uh, dissuade your trust or lose no, your yeah. trust. No. So, you know, uh, look, ultimately this is your call, but the offer is there. And I know you said you didn't want to do anything, you know, with your phone during this respect that that's fine. But you realize that by by leaving the door open, by even doing this after the stream, there still allows the opportunity. You know, it, it goes back to the picture different didn't happen. Like if somebody mm -hmm. sees you pick up your phone right now on stream, you were to then email it to me right now on stream. And it was this this was to happen literally right now in real time as people were watching. It's, mm -hmm. it's on his done. bucket list. It's, it's on his bucket done. list. <laughs> but seriously you, you, it's like number three on craig's bucket list for that to happen right it, now it, well, i'm just but, saying but, once again I, I think this is all done it's all done it's all done every content creator has been lied about right but in True. this one issue where he could just prove his innocence so quick and he doesn't take advantage of it then it's like and <clears throat> I told him it, it's just making you more sus uh, like that. It's making me trust your story less 
that you're not like, you know what? I want to fucking prove this shit. Like, I'm All sick right. of these lies. Let's prove it, you know? Oh, man. See, I didn't know that was okay. You put me on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what because we do. That's an interview. A, Phil, real quick. I mean, I see documentaries on DSP, but you on the show said half of the stuff's not even true. So right. I'm confused. Is the internet... 100% trustworthy or not cuz when it's about me it's all facts. Right. When it's about you it's all lies. I'm I'm confused. I don't condone people harassing you, people doxing you, people going into your your private, you know, life and and doing all this horrible stuff that they've done. But I believe the reason why this has happened is because people don't trust you. You're, you don't come across as trustworthy. So when you're on stream and you're asking to pay utilities and rent and all that stuff, the audience is getting frustrated and they look at you like you're a scammer and they want to know where this money is going. Well, how is he always in this situation? What is he spending his money on? <clears throat> and, and that is the motivation to dive into your personal life. You had an opportunity on this show and I watched it to just pull up the screenshot and show the WWE account and you didn't do it. Your internet cut off at that point when your internet cut off and you were DDoS and you were gone off stream, the opportunity is now gone. It's gone because while your internet was out, you could have made a fake screenshot. All right. You're never ever going to be able to prove what your WWE account was or is Ever again, because people will say he just photoshopped it. He just made it up. You're never going to be able to prove say that. that anyway. You had deal. one opportunity to do it right away with these guys, and that was it. And you didn't take advantage of it because I personally, watching it, and so did the audience, thought that you were lying. And if mm -hmm. and if you are lying, if it is true, and and you're not being honest, I if I were you, this is the best advice I could give you. Right? Is just be like, look, this was my account. This is that I would ask for a clean slate and I would do things different because this restarting level one over and over and over again is the root of all your problems. If that makes any sense. I appreciate the input. It's not true. So I, I'm not going to do that, but, but I appreciate the input. If it were true, I would fess up to it. <laughs> What do you honestly have to say for yourself? Shut the fuck up! I'm not taking your shit! I don't care who the fuck it is! Shut the fuck up and eat it! Eat it! Give me your mailing address! I wanna mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass! Your Honor, I move to have him put in contempt of court for his disgusting pig roach tendencies. Granted, get him out of my sight. <laughs> Now we move on to the second and last case, Boogie 2988. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. I also have a tape to play for Boogie 2988 as evidence. Notice the similarity in his reasoning for not sending the screenshot to be able to prove his innocence as DSP just did prior, but would rather just make up excuses for not doing so and keeping their lies going. Very well. Roll the tape. I'm bringing a, a buddy onto the show. You are not going to fucking like this. Yeah, I didn't think I would. Still showed up anyway. How are you guys doing tonight? What's uh, what's going on? Yeah, how's it going? We can see you. You guys look fantastic. What kind of, what kind of guest is this? Turn it on. I mean, some of you. Don't be so friendly. Oh, there you hey, go. Oh, there my God. God. We're on. We're not X. Yeah, we don't need him. Don't worry about him. <laughs> you're, you're, you can say whatever you want. And it's going to be like, we said it. All right. Are we good to go? Yeah, go ahead. All right. We're good. Okay. Boogie2488, you are being confronted tonight. Go ahead. I am 99% sure <laughs> that you are... You are faking. No, don't move. All. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Okay, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, polycythemia which is Nicholas Diorio's explanation for this bullshit. 
So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, well, then can you why explain? Would he call it, why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it? Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, bone marrow biopsy to confirm it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. Because the and markers are effect. in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood, Destiny. Correct. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me you got a, a bone marrow biopsy. It's a diagnosis, confirm. and now we're confirming. It's called a sure. confirmation. The, the sure. hormone markers are already in my blood. And so I think we are confirming it with the biopsy because I'm yeah. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't have cancer he doesn't care I'm praying yeah. to god i'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong and there's another reason that i have the hormone uh, the hormone fucking, uh imbalances in my blood yeah why are you praying to god two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer because two <laughs> years ago because two years ago they told me i have polycythemia vera based on the fact that i had increased uh red blood cell counts increased hemoglobin and the hormone markers in my blood and it all spelled pretty definitively that i have this and so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy but it is intrusive and expensive so they decided to forego it i would like to still get it done because i am hopeful i am praying that there there's a fucking merciful god of the world that would be willing to fucking let this be wrong even though it most certainly is not so why are you talking about expensive cancer treatments that they don't even know if you have cancer? That nothing because has been- Because they're treating it, dipshit! Because they've been treating it for two fucking years! How are they treating it, Boogie? Blood test, blood thinners, bloodletting, medications, they're trying to get my weight down. I'm right. seeing the doctor That's every three fucking months, I'm doing blood tests every fucking month. We're, we're doing every- we're, So they don't know yeah, if you have you cancer or not. So like, can I understand you this? hold my can hand? Can I, yeah, so sure, so I mean, I can explain, I can explain, well, I, so I can explain everything, right? right. So, Boogie right. well, has a condition called well, polycythemia, which mm -hmm. uh, means there's an elevation- Polycythemia in vera, polycythemia Let him vera, talk, you fat I want to hear the guy that actually knows something. Vera. De Destiny, go he ahead. He knows more about my fucking medical yes. diagnosis. Yes, than I, I guarantee. Well, he's go right he... the fuck ahead. Yeah, yeah. I was in the fucking room. My girlfriend was in the fucking room. <laughs> room. Told me. So you are right filibustering, Destiny. Go right you the are filibustering, sir. Be nice. Be okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I think that Boogie was told that he has polycythemia, which means he has an elevation of his red blood cells. Now. There is a cancer known as polycythemia vera, which is caused by a mutation in some part of your body that causes an elevation of three different levels of things you'll find. One of those is uh, the red blood cell count. Um, however, when Boogie was talking about the polycythemia, he mentioned a couple things that I thought were interesting. The first was that taking an exogenous, uh, an exogenous hormone, TRT, testosterone, that that caused a increase in him developing this condition. So taking, uh, taking testosterone will not cause you to develop a cancer that is a, for not for this particular cancer it won't it will cause you to develop secondary polycythemia the second thing that he mentioned was that his doctor ordered a sleep study that's because one of the things that can cause your body to produce more red blood cells is if you have hypoxemia which is an, a lower count of or a low amount of oxygen in your blood for an extended period of time and the reason why he ordered that sleep study is probably because boogie either has uh either uh pulmonary obstructive uh, something, or he has, as he mentioned, sleep apnea. And sleep apnea, which is a decrease in oxygen overnight, can lead to a decrease in oxygen in your blood, which can lead to an increase in the production of red blood cells. Uh -huh. All of the things that Boogie described, both the things that cause this and the treatments uh -huh. for it, are consistent with secondary polycythemia. Um, yes. None of these are consistent with cancer. And the fact that he's saying and, that he's they've now ordered a biopsy no, two no, years I, after. He, oh, wait, yes, two years after. May I rebuke? May I rebuke? He's not done. He's not done. Yes. Two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you just said now they're doing a biopsy. to Confirmation. Check for Confirmation. Confirmation. Is this awesome? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been out of a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Google that, Destiny. When you, when you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the sakes of it. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Yes. Look, you have all you have you have all, you, you won't keep saying you're the patient. You know what you have. Your body has. Yes. Doc, when I go to the doctor, they give me 
like this, which is like yep. papers that will tell and me. I was going to say, Boogie exactly Cannon, this whole thing, tell me a single document with polycythemia vera on it. You don't have one. I don't think the doctor ever can diagnosed I, you with it. I, can I ask you some Destiny? Is it possible that when the doctor was seeing him, they were asking, you could have this, you could have polycythemia, if I'm saying it correctly, or polycythemia vera, but you don't have the cancer version, you have this version. Uh, is, is, that, is that possible? I'm asking him, I'm asking him. Is, asking him. is, is it, it could be like a, a loss of translation type situation? Yeah, yeah, so polycythemia just means you have an elevation of red blood cells. That's okay. all it means. Your red blood cell count is so high. So you can just be and fat and sleep apnea can create that, because I'm both. Sleep apnea could do yeah, it, yeah, yeah anything, sorry. yeah, like that could cause it. And the fact that Boogie said, we knew that when I was taking TRT, this was a risk of that. That means that that risk is to develop secondary polycythemia. That was the risk, and then that is what ended up happening, unfortunately. But it's not cancer. That was induced because of just a low oxygenation of the blood. So where, why, explain to me, Destiny, why there are markers, hormone markers in my blood that have tested positively for poly polycythemia vera. Explain Look, that just, If there was, then you would have those papers, dude. Just I'm never yeah, showing any if... of these motherfuckers <laughs> my medical papers. Go f*** yourself. I, I said that two years ago, and I'm standing by it now. Destiny, Jackson, Clark, Keemstar, you can see it when I fucking die. It's my fucking goddamn right medical record. I've, I've given you every goddamn phone call. I've given you every text i've given it's never made a single goddamn thing better i'm not gonna fucking do it go fuck yourselves you could go easily end this right now rather, by just showing i would rather you mother i would rather you mother continue to larp i would rather you motherfuckers continue to larp than to have yeah, well, the well, last here's the, here's goddamn here's the thing the last you're the one goddamn thing, you're the one the last larping. The security i have in the fucking world you're the one well, being so the easy the easy thing here is if there are blood markers that definitively confirm polycythemia vera as a blood cancer then why are they doing a biopsy because i'm insisting Whoa. on it because i'm hoping they're wrong no wait why would you have to insist on a biopsy if you can confirm with a uh, with, with blood markers it's because, because you I'm can't hoping that i are wrong because i'm hoping they're wrong you're hoping they're wrong and why two years ago are you talking about fighting cancer why would you be talking I have about been for two years, Destiny? Fighting cancer? Been, how? Listen, what? With blood thinners? Because this one for you. Okay. Because oh god, <laughs> because you treat yeah. polycythemia vera almost identically to the way that you treat polycythemia, because you can't you attack the camp. cancer directly. All you can do is treat the symptoms, and the symptoms are identi identical to polycythemia, because it's the same fucking thing, with the exception of one's getting caused by an external source, and the other's being caused by. In cancer, and in this case, it's getting caused by fucking cancer, Destiny. So I do think there are different treatments available for polycythemia vera, um, and I think that the outcomes for that are significantly worse than just having it induced by some other thing like sleep apnea or hypoxia. But I mean, if but you wanted to, if you wanted to, the treatment plan is pretty identical. The treatment yeah, plan so, is pretty identical. So if there were, there are two huge things. So one, you could show it to a private party, and they could confirm somebody like Keemstar. But two, the issue is that if you want to keep your medical issues to yourself, I think everybody is entitled to that right. Obviously, I should but have never talked about it to begin with. I should have never talked about it to begin with. This well, one, you know, and this, this is one of the reasons I was going to do a GoFundMe. This is one of the reasons I was going to do a GoFundMe was because they verify for the record. They verify. I, I, that so, would be the third party that I would go forward with. Yeah, so GoFundMe does not do the best verification, as has been proven multiple times in the past. Um, yeah. But the issue is that you say that you you wouldn't have, you shouldn't have talked about it. But the fact is, is that you did. You did the day yeah, that you got very, this diagnosis. You're like, well, I was considering doing this, but I just got my no, diagnosis today. So you were considering it instantly. I sat on it for a while. I sat Wait, on, it for a on your while. tweet, did you not say that I got my diagnosis today <laughs> and then talk about it? I, they told me, the, okay. They told me in the office that they were worried about it. Then they did the blood tests. Then, yes, I did tweet about it on the day that I got confirmation. But I sat on it for a couple of months before, uh, or for a couple of weeks before talking about it because it took a while for us to get the blood results back. So you sat on it when you didn't know the answer? That's, that's not called sitting on it. That's just called waiting for an answer. He crushed also, it. Also, if you were so keen on diagnosing whether you had cancer followed, or not, I don't know if why, would you, my, why would you wait two years to get the biopsy? I have followed my Twitter before, but I tend to tweet shit as it happens. This one I decided to set on for a little Real while. Real-time news, motherfucker. I don't understand yeah. why <laughs> you're waiting for a cancer diagnosis. This is pretty f***ing serious. There is no cancer. pretty serious. It's secondary polycythemia. There is no cancer here. There's no proof of it. You can't show anybody proof of it because it's not real. And uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. As I somebody that like, his mom had cancer, I, it's just a little bit gross. I feel like when people are talking publicly about fighting cancer, is it possible that you just jumped the gun on um, releasing your diagnosis thing? You don't think you <laughs> jumped the gun? <laughs> <laughs> Anything is possible. Sure. Right. I, I just Anything don't understand why you won't just go grab a piece of paper and just disprove them. Like you I don't have, have all these feelings. Because they don't have. They have nothing with those words on it. 
And like I said a year ago, you, when these motherfuckers tried to hold, get it, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the one this, last this thing. Excuse me. Motherfuckers is, were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You're in every aspect of my life. Dude, let me have one you're, goddamn. You, you, you're trying to tell me. Let, me, let me have I cancer. Would you rather Dick Soto lead Boogie lies about cancer than to fight, hand this shit over to you pieces? Of that's that's How about just. This? I'd rather can do you that. Get, I'd rather can you do get that. Go ahead, Boogie, print it, Soto. Go ahead and print. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send it sure. to Tommy? I'm not going to. Sure, he's, he's never doing that. He does not have a cancer exactly diagnosis. There's zero percent chance he has one. Every remember, every leading thing for this cancer diagnosis the doctor talked about has to do with secondary polycythemia. The sleep apnea was a contributor to that, oh, and the TRP oh, was contributed to that. Oh, except for the hormone markers in my blood, except for we were convenient. Yeah, but if you had hormone it. markers for it, that's either a definitive diagnosis, in which case yes. you wouldn't be getting a biopsy two years later, or it wasn't definitive, and you would get an, you would have gotten a biopsy two years later instead of saying they're treating you for cancer for two years. You just said right. before that you don't have the money for extra medical stuff. If they don't need that test to confirm well, cancer, why would you spend extra you money on a biopsy that you don't need? Have you heard of this, Destiny? I just got a bit of a windfall. Ooh. Might have heard about it. Yeah, you may have heard of it. We have what's that, what's, what's the he did a ten thousand dollar crypto scam, uh, yeah. using partly his uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans. I, um, I just but... wanted, to, I, I wanted to, I wanted to join real quick because you just got caught lying to, uh, about me sure. to CoffeeZilla. Oh, yeah. All right, and now, and now, and now, and now you're being confronted, exactly and now you're being exactly confronted on one of the biggest lies in internet I history. I don't consider sure, it. And you won't prove it. No. You won't prove no, it. I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. If print this it. is true, ahead, if this it. is true, and you lied go about ahead, cancer, this is the biggest scandal on the fucking internet. And it's you, not, you, but you go ahead and print it anyway. Go ahead and print it anyway. Okay, so I guess just to wrap up, because we don't want to take all your guys' time tonight. So just as a couple things, right? So the story as laid out, yeah. if you look up secondary polycythemia versus polycythemia vera, all of the leading things that Boogie talks about leading to his condition are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not the mutation that would cause polycythemia vera. The things that Boogie says that his doctor wants him to check for afterwards, like doing a sleep study, are consistent with uh, secondary polycythemia, not and primary also, polycythemia. Poly and the fact that he says yeah. almost a the fact that he says that he had the blood markers or something to confirm it two years ago, but is now getting a biopsy for secondary confirmation, even though he says he doesn't have the money for medical bills, but I guess now that he does have money, he's going to waste all of it on biopsying things that are already confirmed or at least confirmed enough that he wanted to talk about it publicly for two years ago and then use it to fundraise the money that he now has so that he can do the biopsy. But I don't fundraise? even think he's doing, by the way. I don't think he's actually doing that. So, Dustin, well. to and summarize. Dustin, if you wanted to disprove it, all he has to do is show a private party this particular right, medical me, thing. And, uh, yeah, it would be... To, 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 to summarize, to summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky he doesn't have cancer. Uh, I mean, for this particular case, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, Boogie can confirm, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, nope. and he actually has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw $5,000 towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you you're you not get... seeing my medical records for twenty, not for fifty. You're not seeing my medical Five records. Five grand. I said this. I said this to you. Okay, so I just want people to remember in the future. Then, when Boogie says I have to do X Y Z scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much, he can speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money, but he can't take five thousand dollars to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly says he has. Doesn't make any sense, but even I, even I, even I have a fucking limit. Even I have a fucking limit. What's the limit, though? It's a bad yeah, limit. I, 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 I probably understand that he, uh, you know, there's a, a big history of people, I guess, scamming people with cancer, and it's like the worst of the worst. Sure. And you're getting confronted with that right now when your yep. response yep. to that is, no, nah. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. Not, I'm not going ahead. Go I'm ahead. just, go I'm ahead. asking go you. Go right the fuck ahead. I don't care. I'm not, I'm, what am I? I'm not going ahead with he's anything. He's trying to. He's speaking to you. Very no, I'm politely. saying run, run, run with the story. I don't care. Why, why we're in this situation is just that. Why are you being so? People view this as one of the longest if things. If right? you 100% believe you have be polycythemia yes. vera, why aren't you just trying to disprove it? Other than them making you look like you're because two years ago, answer for because donations. two years ago, I'd rather that than the. Why? Why would the you rather that? That's so stupid. This is the last thing I have is my medical records. All right, do you care about if this I hand anymore? this over? If I hand this yeah. over, I've given over literally every goddamn thing. What if you give it directly to Destiny himself? I'm, I mean, Destiny's not going to put your fuck fucking medical here. medical yeah. records all over. Destiny, place. had he and you know what? This might have turned out differently had he messaged me the night before. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wouldn't have nagged him for a whole night not to come what? out. Tomorrow, 
the biggest story in the world is going to be Boogie 298 lied about his cancer. Good. Let him go. Okay. Good, and then at some point, you're going to bring out the medical papers and you're going to nope. prove that nope. you do have cancer. Listen nope. to me. Listen nope. to what I'm saying. No. Zero percent chance. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen. And then it's going to be too fucking late because everyone's going to think gonna you lied it. about it. I ain't never going to do it. Then do you lie? Never. Then you lie. Right ahead. Run Why the f*** would you story. lie about that? I didn't. I'm, I'm telling you the same thing I told Jackson Clark two years ago. Go f*** yourself. It's my medical records. Go f*** You yourself. lied. You, sure? you share go, every go, aspect that. of your life. Print, print Bro, that. Boogie, you shared that you print hookers. That. You've done all this embarrassing stuff. You're lying. Oh, there's what plenty the of things I haven't shared. There's plenty of things I haven't shared, but go right ahead. Print what you got to print. Oh, this I, is I, actually so f***ing sad, Boogie. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. This is like f***ing horrible. It is what it is. And it's so funny because I'm looking at my portal right now. Tell us. No. You. Let me yeah. let me put out a scenario. It sounds like um, the doctor said that you had this, you know, disease or whatever, the high red cell, and then you Googled it, and it's, oh, this is cancer, and you ran with it, and you made the <laughs> video, and then you found out, and then you found out later that you got the form of it that doesn't have cancer, and you can't fucking set the record straight. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like, I gotta be honest. If it's that crazy. is what happened, then I'm still confused as of right now. Do you understand that? Because the last conversation I had with my doctor, we are ordering these tests, we are ordering these treatments, and I'm going to do them. So if we why is he asking what me to do them? Saying they wouldn't ask, why is he asking me to do because, them otherwise? Because, he, because he's checking to see if you don't, if you have cancer, but he wouldn't have given you a biopsy if you already had it. Did you feel an obligation, you, the fact that you shared this publicly? All right. I can understand not showing your medical records. He, he, look, certainly Destiny or fans or anybody else or me, not entitled to me medical records. But you have shared this and used this on a lot of issues, yeah. including in private with me. Well, like, I'm having a bad cancer day. You've said that. Those are the words you've used to me. If you've yeah. gone to the public I, with this, don't you have an obligation to put it to rest? A moral no, obligation. I, I would rather go ahead and f***ing burn. Do you, burn. I, that's not the, she has to ask the question. Oh, you're burn. lying. No, I'd why, rather burn. why would you yes, rather burn? Why question. won't you prove it? You're lying. You're I know you Same too well. Same reason I told Jackson. I Clark know two you years too well. Ago. You're lying. Why? This Dude, is the stop one fucking lying. thing. This is the one fucking thing oh I'm keeping God. to myself. This is the no, one thing I'm keeping to myself. You can say that. Why? Me, but like, it just makes you look like a liar, and everybody's gonna run like you Good. are a liar. Good. They already like, do. They already will. I, I know you too well. I know you too well. I understand why you're doing it. You're thinking like, if I don't confirm, if I don't confirm that, yo, I know I don't have polycemia vera. There's always doubt out there. But people are not going to doubt. They're just going to assume. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, I'm. Gets... No, I'm. I delete can, everything. Can you, can you, can you answer over. my question? But I'm you really... still not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not asking you to yeah. do it or not do it. I'm asking you a moral question. If you shared this with your fans and you've been, yep. and you're, don't you have a moral obligation under these particular circumstances? I like, again, I don't. Perhaps. Have... And if, and if the, I to, do, to I'm going time. to, perhaps. And if I do, then I'm going to ignore that moral obligation here in favor of keeping one last shred of privacy in my life. I shouldn't have shared it to begin with. It was a very stupid decision. I knew no one would give it, including the people that are here. I should have never <laughs> shared it. It should have stayed a private thing. Boogie, I, hear me out. It was yeah, you can't use it anymore anyway. Boogie, Boogie, just listen to me for a second, right? Sure. What My theory is right. I know it is. I know you rushed to make that video thinking you actually had cancer and you found out later you didn't. Mm -hmm. And you that would obviously, be a surprise to me as of the last conversation I have with my doctor. You're lying. Ahead. You're lying. Go I ahead. know that's how this played out. I know okay. it did. The, let's say let's say that. Let's say you're not lying. All right? I would have shared it two right years now. ago if I was going to share it. I would have sent it to okay. Jackson two years ago. Okay, hear me. Hear me out. I would have let's say you're not ago. lying. Say, we listen to your, your response to all this and like, yeah. nah, you can look at my medical records when I'm dead. Just how you're saying it and how you're talking and worse. how defeated you are. It's like yep. you know that you've been caught. I, I, yeah, I came across this particular, I always knew this day would come that I would either have to choose between showing my medical records to somebody or, uh, have the internet say that I fake cancer and the internet is now going to say I fake cancer because I'm going to stand on the decision I made two years ago, which is, this is for me. This is the one I would rather go. And it, this is fine. I'll leave the internet. That doesn't make no, what, who's going to believe that? But Tommy, do you believe that? Do you believe, believe that? Believe medical it. records are for me. He tells everybody his medical issues. He's sure. over here. I got high blood yeah, this, pressure. It's, it's like, this I is one this. thing I'm going to hold on to. Like it's actually. Yeah, no one there. is going to believe that. That's the worst. Yeah, I'd rather just go and leave the internet.
I mean, I'll be honest with you. And, and because nobody has you're to guilty. I don't care. Cool. Because you're fucking guilty. That's I don't want to leave, leave the there. internet. It's a great story for Lock Cow for years to come. This dude's no, yeah. got legs. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Wings. Does he seem guilty to you right now? He, he's either guilty or his doctor's doing medical malpractice. I'm mm. fucking defeated, is what I am. I always knew this day would come. I don't know how to handle a situation like this. The only situation, the two options are let this motherfucker go with what he wants to go with or prove him wrong. And I'm not going to prove him wrong here because I, if I did, I was going to prove it to Jackson Clark two years ago. Man, I don't want to live on an internet that thinks I would fake cancer. I don't even want her to do it. <coughs> well, you, you have a real option here to end it, you know? Yeah, you, you yeah, could, and you I'm could not literally. To. I'm not going to. My wife has cancer. I know. Tweet her medical records real quick. Do you want me to go? You want me to wake her up and see if she can get her medical records faster than you? No, I'd rather, I, I would rather she kept. I her, bet you she can. I would rather she kept her uh, medical records private, and that's what I plan to do with mine. Wings, yeah. let them have it. This is bullshit. Let me and Tommy should shut up in Wings. You should talk to Wings. Yeah, go ahead. You know what I mean? Because we're just gonna be mean. Wings, talk to this man. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't really. Got, I got nothing to say to him other than like, dude. Like, if you don't, if you have the cancer. Show it. Why? Why are you walking away from the internet and wanting your last paycheck? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do next because week? Because there's no surviving this anyway. I don't know, man. You gonna you gonna, you gonna live know. in the Corolla? Is that what you're gonna do? You gonna live in the Corolla know. instead of we'll, showing we'll, sharing we'll your medical cause, records? I don't know. I've never known what would happen when the, you guys decided to pretend I faked cancer. I don't know. Pretend? I don't know. Nobody's pretending. Nobody I, pretend. I thought I you know. had cancer. I mean, like, I like, like, boogie, cancer boogie, until boogie, came on. boogie, boogie. Even if we're wrong. Right, you are. nobody's pretend. No, nobody's pretended everything. Destiny put in a case, a real strong case. Yeah. So nobody's yeah. pretended or framed it, manipulated, spun it. Doesn't matter. You can't use that anymore. You're digging your grave, man. Yeah, I know. So what's going on? I, I got a DM from Keemstar telling me to check out a clip from Destiny, and then I watched the Destiny clip, and it's saying that uh, that Boogie's faking his cancer. Yep, that seems to be the narrative. To disprove Destiny's whole claims, and because Destiny made a solid case he didn't have polycythemia vera, it, all he has to do is show that a diagnosis from a doctor from his patient portal that he has polycythemia vera. And, and I'm looking at it right now. And, I'm and, 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 and he, and he and refuses Jim, to do it. And yeah. Jim, here's my ongoing theory. I sure. think he was uh, diagnosed with this disease or whatever, the non-cancer type. And he rushed to the internet, which he already confirmed. As soon as he was told he had this, he ran and made a video and then found out it's the non-cancer one after he already told the internet he had cancer. Because that's what Destiny really hit him on. That Boogie has a certain disease that's not cancer. Now, there's a similar name one that is. And Boogie, all he has to do is prove it. He's got the paperwork right in front of him. All he has to do is show the internet that he actually does have this and he refuses to do it. Well, yep. and he, here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to go right into diagnoses and it's going to list everything that a doctor has ever said you had. Yep, I just read it to him. Okay, and so it lists the cancer there? Yes. Okay, so you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did, and then that would be the end of it. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that, and I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. I'm well, no, I, and he, here's the thing. I, I understand the privacy argument. Just show, I mean, it literally is just a page that says patient diagnoses. Yep. And then it lists what you have. There's. It doesn't yep. tell you who the doctor is. It doesn't tell you what hospital you go to. It, it literally just says the disease yep. name. And I won't be doing that. But I don't understand why not. Because um, he doesn't have I, I get cancer. A, I get about, I get about, <laughs> he does have cancer. Yeah, that's going to be the narrative they'll go with. So that's the well, one. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm legit trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. When I shit on you for the crypto thing, man, I, I said, I take your word yeah. that you had cancer. I take your word that, you know, the medical shit's expensive. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I this seems like the I've been, easiest I've thing. I spent to, two years treating a disease that doesn't exist. These people used to be my friends. And I genuinely would have never believed that it would even come to this. And uh, I just, man, I'm just rather be done, man. I'm good. You, I'm so good. You're, you're, you're playing this like some kind of backstab? I mean, anybody no, can confront No, not at all. Nobody stabbed. Nobody not at all. Do, you, do you think not I backstabbed you by having Destiny on? No, not at all. One of the biggest streamers coming on our show. No, I, feel like, live. I feel like this could have been a private conversation and I would have shown you, Keem, specifically. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, could you, could, okay, how about this? Yeah. Instead of instead of playing to the audience, like I get it, I get you've got a podcast going, I get the drama thing, I get all of that, 
and there's a lot of shit getting flung around. Yeah, I'm not playing the any you, so No, no, no. What, well, no, what I'm saying know, is, could you could you screen cap that, and then pick one of these three guys because you've sure. worked with them absolutely. and show and show them, but nobody else because yeah, I'm sure absolutely. everybody would. That's would something take... I could do, and I will never do it. Never do it. Between now and when I die, they'll never see it. Because I'm, I don't know, like I don't know your relationship. With I'll have it tweeted when I'm. I'll have it tweeted when I'm dead. Don't worry about that. But, but I, I guess I'm gone. They'll see what I'm gone. But if if they're giving you this accusation, right? I I don't get why it would shut them up immediately, right? Yeah, sure and would. then nobody nobody else would ever have to see it. You keep sure your privacy. Would. Sure would. Is there anybody? Seen it. My roommate seen it. I, I'd call well, no, no. I mean, I mean, aside from somebody but, that lives with you, like, like a coffee zeller or some neutral. My most confident people. No, there's well, no. Well, but I mean, like, like a, a neutral no. third party. Other than trust. my most confident people that I trust, I would no, no. I'm not, and even in that, I wouldn't do that. I could, I could call Desi in here right now, and she would. And I won't even do that. I won't even do that. No, thank you. I'm good. I mean, it looks, it looks good. bad. Good. You understand that it looks yes. terrible. Yes, I know. I'm good. If I tweet it, it, this tomorrow, it, it, it's not I mean, change anything. I'm just gone. It doesn't matter. It would, shut, I, it would make tweet. everybody. It would make yeah. everybody look like an asshole. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It would. It, it would make everybody on this fucking stream no, look like the world's no, biggest no, assholes they'll, they'll for doing it. They'll apart, and they'll say I'm lying again. They'll say the proof isn't How are they enough. Say you're lying the web portal's not enough. Now I want a fucking medical record. Now I need to see a list. What about your peers? Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I, w I would straight up apologize we don't work to you together for anymore. doubting you. Yeah, we don't work I, together anymore. We're good. We're good. What do you mean we don't work together? I'm leaving the internet. I'm good. No, you're <laughs> not. I'm we not know you. Too well. This is what doesn't make sense to me. If you're in the right, if these assholes are persecuting you and you have cancer. Would you, you want to sit in here for, with these people for two, fucking, uh, uh, two nights a week? Because I don't. I, I don't understand. If you're in the right, if you have cancer, if they're the assholes, if you could make them look like <clears throat> and make money... I, why would you leave the internet? Here's the I, screenshot I, of it right I, here. I, I just I took the be, screenshot of it right I gotta here. be honest. We yeah, do then, need... then send it to one of them and shut them the f up, and then you'll never I, have to listen to it again. No. You're Fine. saying you're gonna you're saying you're gonna walk away. No more YouTube, Twitter, any of that. Yeah. The problem is it's taken this so long much. for you to even get that screenshot. By the time you send us the screenshot, people yeah, are gonna be like, well, he made it. Done. Yeah, the he name made, is already he done. He made a fake screenshot exactly. at that time. Exactly. There is no way out of it. It's already over. I'm gonna I'm FaceTime. Good. I'm gonna FaceTime uh I guess Desi's phone and then show me on no. FaceTime right now. No. On your phone. No. There is no oh, I've already been offered uh ten thousand dollars plus a free trip to Disney World and the answer is Well no. nobody nobody likes Disney World. Ten thousand dollars. I love Disney World. It was five thousand. It, it's up to fifteen thousand total. He fifteen grand? Yep. Yep. Do it. No. He's it gonna pay lying. you fifteen thousand dollars to look like an asshole in front of his entire audience, and you're yep. saying no. Yep. He's this lying. is too much, man. I don't know if you guys can understand. This I can completely understand. I went through yeah. two years of yeah. people like Mersh saying I was faking it. Yeah. And well, so you... I did a stream. I did a stream and sold a ton of hats laughing at him showing medical records. You've yeah. got the opportunity to do the exact same thing right now on his home turf. No, I'm good. Some ordinary gamers will also put $10,000 towards Jesus. it. Make it a hundred. Make it a million. If I'm, if you have cancer, if you prove no, that you this have is cancer, bullshit. No, 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 no. You got twenty five k sitting on the table. There's something f going on here. Yeah, there's something f is man. I'm just exhausted. I'm done. I'm you done. just did a crypto scam to make money because you said you're worried about cash. They're offering twenty five k. Yeah, I thought you that get was... to shit on them. Yeah. You get to shit on them. Yeah, and, things, in the that, process. Yeah, things that might have changed. Uh, Drama alert already tweeted that I faked cancer, so we're good. No, he did. didn't. Thank they said the destiny. That's even. Right. That's even better. Then you make twenty five k, and he's got to retract it. It looked like the biggest no. dick on earth. We're good. Can Kim start picking on a cancer patient? Oh my We're god! Good. Come on. We're good. You're lying. It's so Go. obvious. Go with that. Why? Go with that. Why Go would with you that. lie about this? Because I didn't. You what haven't happened? confirmed that you have it. Nope. Oh. Wait. Wait, I think we got an answer right there. You haven't confirmed that you have cancer. Confirmed it with you. No, I have not. No, I will not. No, not with me, with with your doctor. Your doctor hasn't said you 100% have cancer yet, right? We confirmed it with the blood test, yes. There's no other reason that those hormone markers would be in my blood. How are you going to financially support yourself? I don't think I will. So you're going to go live in the gutter instead of taking 25K to prove these assholes wrong? Let Desi no. down. Oh no, Desi will be fine. We talked about this yeah, all Desi last night. Desi will be fine back once, in your parents' Nicholas, house. Once when Nicholas, you're in car, dude. Yeah, once Nicholas Diorio sent me this message, we knew exactly what was coming, and we talked about this at great length last night. I didn't sleep. 
How is talk about this? Nick Diorio, did he did he have something to do with this too then? Or what did he I'm say? Certainly he did. He said, Do you have secondary polycythemia? And I said, No, this is what they diagnosed me of, and I linked it to him. But it was a pretty big sign that there was a group chat going. I told Tommy about it this morning. And uh, I was like, yeah, what do we do, Desi? And we made a decision, and I'm going to stick by that decision. I am going to spend a bunch of money and have you test it, and then I'm going to tell the internet what you really have. How about that? No. You Not shouldn't that. be able to go and f***ing milk sympathy from the internet, yep. saying you have all these disease diseases and whatnot, and yep. not prove it. You shouldn't be able to do that. Boogie, you're f***ing lying. I'm sick of it. I can't deal with this anymore. It's so ab abundantly okay. clear. All right? Okay. Come clean. Come clean. I'm not going to abandon you. You're still going to be on the show, even though you lied about having cancer. I, I promise you, you. I promise you, no matter what happens, I won't be on the show. I'm not going to kick you off. Uh, yeah, you, you can't. Yeah, you, you know that looks like I you're promise, guilty, like you're just going to run away. Yes, I, I promise you. I, I promise you right I now, if you lied about having cancer, I'm not going to kick you off. Why would you? You're in the right place. I'm going to stick with the truth because I'm going to stick with the truth. Yeah, I know it's very tempting at this point to lie, and you're trying to bait me to do it. I won't. I want you to either tell the truth that you don't have cancer or prove that you do have cancer. So let's come clean. Come on. Up to my knowledge, as of today, oh as God. of the last conversation I have, we are treating me for polycythemia vera, not secondary polycythemia. That is the truth. Will you get to see my medical records or my fucking web portal the answer is no so well, go ahead and run not, with the story we're not gonna that I'm get lying. anywhere no we're you're not, not. but to, okay so to sum it up uh, you're not going to take their 25k off or you won't no. do a, like a private thing to show it no a and you're going to leave the show and the internet yes and your income revenue yes so you're going to be homeless so the no. end result of no, this conversation no, what, what is the plan selling magic cards <laughs> well, no, that involves being on the internet. He's either lying, which is mm -hmm. terrible, or he's telling the truth and which acting like, a, or you're telling the truth and you have cancer, but you're being a stubborn f***ing retard. Yes, it's you're that one. Away, it's that one. I am going to have one. When I leave this f***ing internet, I'm going to have one goddamn thing I kept to myself. One goddamn thing, and that's my goddamn medical medical records. And I don't want more of you motherfuckers feeling sorry for me. I don't give a. Fuck, yeah, you do. Okay. As, as you hate just me as quiet. much as you fucking want, but that's I'm I'm taking one goddamn thing with me. Somehow, your locale lies sounds even more damning than DSPs. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm leaving the internet. Boogie, just how as fat as you are, there's no place for you to escape to. Would you want to sit in here for with these people for two fucking uh, uh, two nights a week? Because I don't. And just like how nobody wanted to see your disgusting, ugly body, yet you disgraced all of humanity by exposing yourself. No wonder why that hooker gave up her profession. I have someone that I want to call to the stand. As far as the deflecting from responsibility to show proof against the allegations brought upon them, and upon seeing the evidence that was shown today, what have your rulings found? Was found to be identical. Identical. What are we thinking about this? LTG, what say you? That nigga is guilty. Focus on your sexy, bro. And Keem, what are your thoughts? Boogie, you're fucking lying. I'm sick of it. I can't deal with this anymore. It's so ab abundantly okay. clear. I think I've made my decision. Boogie, you're fired. You have to be kicked off this fucking show. This is crazy. This yeah, is so fucking bad. With everything taken into consideration, I find that both Darkside Phil, as well as Boogie2988, guilty of committing the lolcal lie further submitting their legacy into the deepest depths within lolcal lore that if it can be deflected upon, despite overwhelming evidence to support the accusations and the allegations placed upon their names, their egos and their pride remain valued higher into selling a lie over the honesty and the respect brought upon themselves and their reputation. They would rather destroy their own branding and credibility to avoid any accountability for their actions that they have already committed, keeping them down at level one or possibly even lower. We offer them no sympathy and we offer you no empathy and God may have mercy upon you too. Court is adjourned. Bailiff, get them two out of here. It's starting to reek of failure in here.
I want to give a big thank you and a special shout out to Iviga for voicing the judge in this video. He has a lot of great detractor content on his channel, as well as does really fun live streams. If you haven't already checked out his channel and subscribed to him yet, make sure to go check out the first link after the video's chapters within the description below to go check out and support an awesome content creator like Iviga. Again, thank you very much for being a part of this video. I really do appreciate it. For those of you who have made it this far into the video, thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content, as well as to check out the videos that are already live on the channel, including more documentaries on DSP, as well as various other topics. Make sure to stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.